hours ago, we brought you reports of an incident taking place in the Gwadar area of Pakistan, an attack on a Chinese convoy of engineers. We're learning now through our sources. This information has been provided exclusively by uh, our reporter Manoj Gupta. We are learning that the BLA, that is the Balochistan Liberation Army, has claimed responsibility for the attack on these Chinese engineers. We're learning that a total of nine people were killed so far. Uh, these Chinese engineers were actually guarded by Pakistani security forces. This has been considered the biggest attack in Gwadar on the Chinese. We'll bring you a little bit more context. Gwadar is a port area. It's in the larger area of Balochistan, which is some of the largest area land-wise, but some of the most sparsely populated areas in Pakistan fall under Balochistan, a region that is known to have some of the natural gas reserves in, this, in the entire country. Let's go to my colleague Abhishek to understand why that matters in the larger context. Uh, Abhishek, first tell us more context about this attack. What is the BLA actually confirming? That's question one. Question two, tell us, Abhishek, uh, the BLA has in the past said that they do these attacks against China because of what they've called China's exploitative ways in Balochistan. What do they mean? Uh, so, uh, like two things. First, the Balochistan Liberation Army, they have been claiming since morning, uh, it's been only a few hours since the attack has actually happened, that there has been major casualties both uh, among the Chinese uh, team and also the security per personnel, which the government of Pakistan was trying to hush-hush. But now it is being reported that uh, apparently four Chinese nationals uh, may have been killed and a few more security personnel from the Pakistani forces, they may also have been the casualty in this major attack, one of the major attacks in the recent times that Pakistani uh, security forces have faced. Uh, and it would go multiple ways because we, the kind of uh, atmosphere, political and security atmosphere that is prevailing in Pakistan, who will be handling the internal security affairs right now, that remains a big question. At the same time, China, which have been uh, which has been kind of, you know, uh, standing uh, solidly uh, behind the uh, military and political uh, establishment of Pakistan, they will also be pulling up their Pakistani counterparts as to what were the, uh, why the foolproof security was not given to the Chinese team, which were on way to Gwadar port uh, along the highway. Because in the past also, when this uh, BLA had tried to target Chinese team, uh, China had expressed its, uh, you know, its disappointment with the Chinese authorities in the past also. And after that, Pakistan had beefed up the security measures that would always be provided to the Chinese team uh, or a Scot that will be in that region. But this time also, uh, it is being reported that the team was uh, in, 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 in seven vehicles. They were traveling. 23 members of the Chinese indigenous team were part of their convoy. Uh, the team had bulletproof vehicles and a Scot team was also there, but still... Uh, the BLA uh, had been able to uh, orchestrate this major terrorist attack uh, in that Gwadar port, which they have always uh, claimed that China is trying to discriminate China and Pakistan with uh, they, uh, with their agenda, are trying to uh, you know dis uh, marginalize the Baloch people who are part of that land, uh, and they are trying to uh, target the natural resources uh, for their own benefit rather than uh, using it for the benefit of the people living in that region. Okay. Abhishek, I just want to understand uh, from you, we know that there are thousands of Chinese personnel on the ground in Pakistan because there, there has been this, this, this wide flux uh, migration of sorts of just thousands of Chinese nationals that have been working in Pakistan on the China-Pakistan economic corridor. Can you bring us more context of what the, the numbers look like of Chinese nationals in Pakistan? How large is that community? Can you also tell us what projects they're working on? You know, uh, there is apparently uh, thousands of people who are from China who are living in Pakistan because of the solid people-to-people uh, -people engagement, uh, student welfare, uh, you know, program that has been launched in China, uh, many economic activity that is part of Chinese, uh, you know, Belt and Road Initiative that passes through uh, Pakistan and several of its, uh, you know, hilly region, especially northern regions. Uh, and also, uh, we have seen uh, a very uh, senior level Chinese officials are part of uh, Pakistan's overall political atmosphere. Uh, also, at times, uh, there's a very close linkage of Pakistani military and Chinese uh, intelligence officials as well because of their common uh, security challenges. Uh, but while China has been giving all sort of support to the Pakistani uh, government, Pakistani people, they have always been very wary of the fact that their developmental program is not going down well. 
uh, to the very people through which their major uh, infrastructural projects are crossing, especially uh, the Gwadar project that has been part of China's, uh, uh, you know, mammoth fifty billion dollar project uh, that has been given to Pakistan in the last ten years. About twenty billion dollars have also been spent. It has been claimed by the Chinese authorities, and along the way, several highways have been created, several ports. Several port uh, infrastructure have been created, industrial corridors have been created, uh, and uh, China has actually been trying to develop those economic corridors that would eventually benefit Chinese trade and commerce that will be passing through Gwadar uh, to Central Asia and other parts of Europe uh, as well. Uh, so people in, in that region they have always been, uh, you know, skeptic of the fact that whether China is actually doing this infrastructural project for their own development or it is part of China's major. Future game plan that would uh, eventually benefit Chinese establishment and the Chinese government, and uh, it will exploit the real people, the Baloch people, or the Pashtuns okay. through which these corridors have been passing. Thank you, Abhishek, for bringing us that context. Let's move.